I'm going to make a chi outfit. I don't know how. I'm not a fashion designer. So I got all this material, basically. I got the, And uh, basically, we did the basic pin out for her top already. Uh, and that's basically all I got to work with right now. So hopefully, I can get the dress part and the uh, arm outfit all ready for her. I have a lace string and all that ready to go too. So hopefully I have everything I need here. Working on the, uh, <coughs> sorry there, I got a cold. Working on the arm piece there and I, and I stitched it the wrong way. I actually sewed it wrong because uh, you have to remember like when you're sewing stuff it's always inside out first and then flip it back and uh, yeah so you probably don't want to make the same mistake I did because ripping these stitches out are such a pain anyways so well remember what I said about uh so sewing it the wrong way I de-stitched it and I sewed it again the wrong way so now I have to de-stitch it for the second time and hopefully I do it right this time this is uh, the first armband it's uh, it's pretty rough but uh, the whole look of the whole dress is going to be surrounded by like this lace and ribbon type feel this is the f first side so we're gonna let's see if I can lay it on the bed here that's that's it that's half ass man job right there but uh hopefully I can uh, mimic that again on the other arm piece and man so much cursing and swearing went through making that but uh let's move on to the second piece I finally finished the uh, two arm pieces well rough cut anyways I'm really not sure how to, uh, anyways, the next part is the skirt, so there I have, um, the sheet, and, uh, I don't know what to do, <laughs> just like I didn't know what to do for those, but it turned out pretty good, so, um, I, I think I want two layers of lace on top of it, and then do the same funky, uh, crinkled it thing I did over here with uh, these ones right there it's just I want it to uh, basically span on the ground like uh, the way she's wearing her dress right here obviously there won't be that much uh, puff to the dress right now but I just wanted to uh, get it at least to the waist size. Now I got her waist size right here. This is my girlfriend's waist width. So uh, I'm gonna have to shrink it down somehow so it's at least half an inch um, so that she can basically fit in it. And I'll see what I can do from there. Now I got those uh, folds in. It's not as big as I, I would like it, but I don't really have that much material. And uh, basically, um, for the material and to shrink it down to her waist size, that's about as big as I could get them. So now I'm going to put lace on the bottoms and two layers on the top. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, uh, this is the dress. Now that's the part. And uh, basically what I did was I put the zipper on and the zipper is going to go like this and it's going to overlap. I figured, well, since the lace is going to go on top of it anyways, it doesn't really matter how badly I stitch it. Too badly. Uh, on the bottom here, there's a lining of uh, this 
thingy. I use the special triangle thingy stitch to uh, put that on. Now, what I'm going to do, if I can do this one hand, this uh, lace here is going to go on top of the dress like that. Actually, I've been really surprised on how well I'm doing because I've never made anything like this before, so. Oh, it's tiring up. What I got now is the dress, and I, I sewed the top part, the lace part, onto it. The thing is, is, let's see if I can turn it, is the back doesn't join. The problem is, is that a skirt is not a square. So, I cut up a longer piece here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically fix it. I'm going to join it and uh, connect it down. I won't have the pattern to it, but I mean, I don't have any patterns, period, because I refuse to do it, follow a pattern, so this is what I get. But I don't think it would be a big deal, so I'm just going to sew this on and just... Uh, go the biggest length I can on my sewing machine and just uh, basically make it as less noticeable as I can because I don't want people to see that there was actually two stitches in here instead of one so I'll go off and do that so this is the back I decided to actually stitch a ribbon down there I don't know at the time, it felt right, but uh, I'm not sure how it's really going to work out. This is really rough because I don't want to make the waistline yet because I'm not sure how it fits her. She's at work right now. So, uh, um, yeah, that's the dress part, basically. So. so I wasn't really worried about the stitches down there. I figured, well, it's going to be covered for the most part. And... Well, white on white, you don't really recognize it or notice it. Now I'm working on her top right now. Basically, uh, the way her top is designed, I'm not sure if uh, I can really make it out, but I need to look kind of funky, so I'm going to see what I can do with it. This is the top so far, um, basically I've stitched the lace on, uh, the bottom I'm going to do something with, and this is actually going to have a ribbon for it, so you're not actually going to see the uh, stitch here. And the back is what I'm trying to fix up right now. The shirt is actually bigger than the measurements made for the lace, so I have to fill it up um, with another piece. I'm just stitching the sides right now. This is incomplete, of course. Okay, here's the shirt now. Uh, basically, I put a folded lace at the bottom. Really rough. I'll just cut all that excess out later. Um, over here, I put the ribbon in here, so you can't really other than the stitches on here. I also decided to put it on the neck too because it looks pretty plain without it. On the back, uh, I put it a little bit, you can see there's there is a gap there so, but I uh, reverse stitched it so it's a little bit whatever. On the gap here, you can see I didn't sew it onto the side, I felt it was better like that. On the bottom, I think I'm going to put ribbons at the bottom. Stitch it like I did with the uh, skirt. And I'm not sure what else to do with the top. So I'm just going to leave it after I'm done that. Because I've been at this for over 7 hours now to get these uh, 3 pieces done.